Today's video will be about a new 3D printed rocket engine injector. This video is only about the testing process. Soon there will also be a video about the building of it. And as you're watching this video, we are performing multiple hot fires with it. And I think that's very worth to subscribe for. Of course, we don't only build this to water plants or anything, we build for a rocket engine. Soon you will see in a series of videos how we build, test and develop the rocket engine from patrol panel to Macht Islands. Last year we designed two different swell injectors, but then we lost focus due to the leaking of the FDM printing. Thanks to Black Friday, we now own a resin printer, which allows us to print different designs that are a royal pen in the butt on an FDM machine. After a couple of hours in SOLIDWORKS, we had our first prototype. And well, it worked, but we are not happy with the overall flow. After every bad product, there was a smart idea. In that case, it was the internal pressure divider. The physics behind the divider is pretty neat. But in reality, it's a big mess that doesn't work out as it should. Thanks, physics. In revision B, we removed the pressure divider and made a small change in the flow cross-section to reduce the mass flow of the ethanol. Due to the lack of an internal pressure divider, we used two different compressors. One for the gas inlet, which runs at roughly 6 to 7 bars, and the other small one to pressurize the fuel tank to roughly 3 bars. Now everything works and it shoots out atomized water, but the exit angles are too wide and too big for our small combustion chamber. So we made a few changes and hell yeah, it's too large again. Third time's the charm and yeah, the exit angles are much much smaller. The outlet streams look pretty nice, right? The problem? We had a mass flow of over 100 grams per second of ethanol and over 2 liters per second of gas. We, as professional rocket idiots, would think this is too much for a small engine. Finally, RevC has a flow rate of roughly 60 grams per second. With the help of our STS box, we control three electromagnetic valves which control our injector slash rocket engine later. With our STS box, we can achieve variable lengths of test fires, which we'll need in our future rocket engine testing, but more in the following videos. And if the pressure tank does not explode by today, they would have kept trying. Thanks for watching, share, like, and subscribe.